Alright guys, so the last time the cam dog went on the dyno, it rattled off just over 400 horsepower on about 30 pounds of boost. We kept driving it for a little while. Nick ended up putting a 75 shot of gas on there. Everything was all sweet. And he calls me one day and says, hey, it's making a horrible noise. I don't know what to do. So he drove to the workshop. Didn't know what it was. Wasn't sure if it was rod bearings. So we put it on the hoist, pulled the sump off. At first everything looked okay, but then we noticed that three of the five main caps were cracked. As I started to remove the main caps, the crank was actually broken in half and that was the end of the oversized piston motor. We got our hands on a second hand engine and we pulled it apart, everything looked pretty good. We got in contact with Billet Speedworks over in America and they supplied us with a set of Billet main caps which they do make for the 4E and the 5E engine. We then put the auto combination together and fitted it in the car and once it was all sweet and we put some Ks on the engine, it was time to go to the drags. We started off at 30 pound and although we kept turning the boost up, the car didn't really go much faster and the mile an hour wasn't increasing. So we knew we were either out of fuel pump, injectors or a wastegate. So we decided to pull the pin and we went home. Now we do have plans for a whole heap of new mods just to push this engine even further. But first we wanted to put it on the dyno just to see what power it was making at the drags and then we're going to go from there. So check this out. So go on, what's your power predictions? 370 horsepower. I don't know, I just don't know what that fuel pump's going to be capped at. That's Three, 360, 370? Something like that. It has to be something like that. All right. All right, so apart from the engine trying to rip itself out of the engine bay, we've come across another problem. We went over and looked at the TV and it's meant to be on 37 pounds, which is what we ran it on at the drags, but it's only around 30. Nick decides to give it about 15 clicks on the boost tee and we go and run it again to see what would happen. How many clicks did you give it? Oh, I gave it like two whole turns. And nothing happened? No, no, it's just completely out of spring, man. The next step now we have the mechanical fuel pump. We need to figure out where we can mount that. I've seen cars run them off the front of the camshaft gear, but we don't really have a whole lot of room for that, so I've come up with another idea. Here we have a factory 4E distributor. Now I think if we pull all this apart, uh, maybe chop it down the guts here, that's going to slide straight into the head, which will align in the cam and then we can modify the drive to suit that make up some mounts and that should work really good we then of course will have to move the cam and the crank pickups um, but we'll worry about that in a minute
exercise. Sort of crank trigger with a cherry sensor down here. Next we need is a home signal sensor, so that's going off the cam. We've decided to space out one of the cam gear bolts higher than the others, and then we're going to bolt this cherry sensor into the front cover here of the engine and space it out correctly so it only picks up the one tooth, and that'll give us a good home reference. Doesn't need to be out there very much, does it? We have a one-way valve here for the mechanical pump. The problem with the mechanical pump is they don't prime like an electrical one does, and the engine turning is what causes the fuel to come through. So by having this, we're hoping that we'll keep fuel in the line up to there while the car's not running. So when we start it, we don't have to prime the pump, it'll already be primed up. Where else does it go? It's just gonna go on the bottom here of the surge tank, which that line then follows all the way around to the bottom of the mechanical pump. Sweet. Oh, stop, Nick. Yep, turn the key off. Turn the key off. What's up? There's fuel spraying out. Where? We just need to make sure that the mechanical pump is pumping the correct way. We don't know if it's up or down, so I'm just going to put this quick hose on. Just so we don't start a fire. Because we tried to start it and it wouldn't start, so we're thinking it might be around the wrong way. Alright, Peter. Crank it for a little bit. Go Peter, crank it. Okay, stop. Wrong way. Bam, 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 bam. Damn. It's probably, probably enough. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it comes off. I see. Oh, is this going to be an issue now though? It might. What about we bend the oil dipstick there? The gearbox one. Mm. If you want to bend it, you can bend So the car drove really good, very happy with it. We're gonna do a little bit of tuning and stuff on the road. The next thing we need to do is just swap out to these Bosch 2200cc injectors, since we've got 1250s in at the moment. And then that should be a pretty mean fuel setup, and I don't think we're gonna be running out of fuel anytime soon. So we did have some overheating issues earlier. So what we did was put a radiator, this is just off an ATV, under the back here, and just tech screwed it straight to the floor. We've got some aluminium pipes that run underneath the car and that just goes with the heater inlet and outlet on the engine. So it runs down here, there's no fans, no nothing on it, just the extra water in the cooling system and the radiator here. We've dropped the engine temperatures by 10 degrees. So I'm thinking now if I just put some 50 mil spaces in between the floor and the radiator, um, we'll go and test that again. And if it's still overheating after that, we might put a little fan on there, but I think it should be sweet. So we have plenty of spacing now, although it does stand out quite a bit. It doesn't stand out as bad now. We've booked the dyno, it's not for a couple of weeks, we're going to do some road shooting before then, but we're going to do a power run on the dyno. We don't see any reason we can't turn it up to 40, 45 pounds of boost, and we'll see what it makes. Block's probably going to split in half. No, no, it'd be right. But yeah, it should be pretty good, we'll see what happens.